What up folks, I am Jacques Slade, and as you can see, I am not in the usual studio today. I'm actually out in Oakland for the launch of the Curry One, but I also wanted to make sure I got you all the info on what's dropping this weekend. So let's get this show started. This is the Heat Check. It's time for us to show that heat, that this weekend will be on your feet. It's the Heat Check. Starting with today, the retooled Air Max One is dropping as the Air Max One more. I hope I said that right. The model is actually lighter than the original Air Max One and is also more flexible. Nike actually removed a bit of the material from the shoe and basically gave it a new outsole. These are dropping in a few colorways for both men and women with the Summit White and Challenge Red colorway hitting finish line for $130. Now Adidas Hoops is mixing the old school and the new school with the Broadway Express collection. Now that collection includes the Crazy 8, the Crazy 2, and the D-Rose 5 Boost. All three have a mix of metallic, silver, yellow, and black, and the color is found on the actual Broadway Express subway. Now, the Crazy 8 is $110, the Crazy 2 is $125, and the D-Rose 5 Boost is, well, that's $140. Heat check. On the strictly lifestyle side of things, Nike basketball is showing some love for Austin, Texas on the Nike KD7 EXT Longhorn State. Wow, that's a lot. As many of you know, KD went to school in Austin, and Nike is celebrating that time in his life with this extension of the KD7. The upper is made of pony hair, and the Nike swooshes are branded on the toe and on the heel. Those released on Saturday for $200. Fans of ASICS will be able to grab this black and white Jill Light 5 or this G22 this weekend if they want to switch things up just a little bit. As with a lot of ASICS, these are a collaboration, and they're called the Grand Opening, and will be sold exclusively over at Kith on the 9th. If you want to wait till Sunday, though, the Kobe 9 Elite is getting in on the mix with the latest version of the What The Series. The upper mix is several different fly knit patterns and colors and a sort of yin-yang style design going from shoe to shoe. Again, these drop on Sunday, not Saturday, and look for those to cost $275. Heat check. Now onto the performance side, the newest player to get a signature sneaker, Kyrie Irving, is getting the second colorway of his shoe, the Kyrie One, this weekend. This colorway is officially called Deceptive Red and is probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to basketball shoes. The traction on these is really nice and they have just enough zoom in the forefoot for that cushioning you need. Those will be available at finish line for $110 on Saturday. Keeping with performance kicks, the Air Jordan 29 is releasing in a new colorway this weekend. Now it's basically black and gym red, but it is that sonar our sonic wave pattern on the upper that really makes this one stand out. Of course, the modified flight plate holds things down, and this one's going to cost you the usual $225. And last but not least is the Air Jordan 4 Retro Remastered Legend Blue. Jordan has updated the quality and construction on the latest batch of Jordan Retro product, and this Legend Blue Jordan 4 is one of the first to get the treatment. You can look for those to arrive at finish line on Saturday in all their white and Legend Blue glory for $190. Heat check. Lots of good stuff on the radar this week. Be sure to click the links below because it'll take you directly to the shoes if you have it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you actually like what you see. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Athletes with the signature basketball shoe is only 19. Kyrie actually makes it 20. Tonight, along with Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, and Penny Hardaway, we got our first official look at the shoe. Let's talk about the details first. The shoe is scheduled to launch on December 21st.